Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to tweak your hidden BIOS settings with Skewin. Configuring your BIOS is one of the most beneficial optimizations you can do. It makes your game way smoother and gets rid of most of your lag. So yeah, getting into it, the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server linked in the description below. Once you're in my server and you have verified, you want to go over to the BIOS channel right here, and then head into pins. Once you're in the pins, you should see something called Skewin. You want to download that file. Once you download it, you want to open it and extract it. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop because it's way easier to do. Once you have SKU and extracted, the next thing you want to do is just open it. You'll see a ton of files in here, but the first one you want to run is the SKU and fix. Once you run this, this just basically disables UAC so SKU and could be ran properly. After you do that, you want to run the export.bat as administrator. This is basically just going to get all your hidden BIOS settings and put them in a text file for you. Once it's done, it should say script file exported successfully. If it says something like BIOS or motherboard not compatible, then you can't use SKUIN because sometimes it just doesn't work on certain laptops and certain PCs. There are other BIOS methods where you can change your hidden settings, but those are much complicated and we're not doing that in today's video. But if you get any other type of error though, and it doesn't say this, you want to head over to Ahmed's page. He's a developer of Skewin. Basically just has a bunch of error codes right here so you could troubleshoot your own errors. Once, it, once the file gets exported, you want to press any key just to close it. So what you want to do is open the nvram.txt file right here. Once you do this, you want to head over to the my Discord server again and then go to the pins. You should see two guides in here, one for Intel, one for AMD. I'm on Intel, so I'm going to click this guide. But if you're on AMD, click this one. When you're in the guide, you should see a ton of BIOS settings that you can change. If you want to change a setting, so say for example, clock power management, you would just highlight the setting, go to the notepad, press Control F, and then paste the setting in this box, and then click Find Next. Once you're in here, if you want to change the setting, so say for example, I want to enable this setting, I would basically just cut the star right here, so highlight it, Control X, and then I would paste it right behind the enabled option right here. And that would basically just set the setting for me. If you have a setting that has a numerical value like this one too, you would just copy it, find the setting, you might have to press up or down depending on where you are in the document. Make sure to do that so you actually find the setting so it doesn't say cannot find like this. Once you find the setting though, and you see this value option right here, this is only for ones that like have a numerical value and look like this. All you would do is just delete the number and the value, so by default this might be like 26. I will delete the numbers and put the value I want to set it at, so 0. Now, another thing I want to point out is that some settings, like LTR for example, they get duplicated within SKUIN and are kind of annoying to do. So, basically what, you, what would happen is when you type LTR in the find and you click find next, you might see an option like this and you'll disable it, but if you click find next again, there'll be another one right here. So you want to make sure when you are disabling certain settings, you disable each one of them because they could be duplicated within the file. But once you switch all your settings, you want to click file right here and click save. This is basically just going to save all the settings you just set. To import them in your BIOS and actually apply them, what you would do is close out of it once after you save it. And then you would right click the import.bat and run it as administrator. Once you run it as administrator, it's going to import all the settings that you just set. You should see a script file imported successfully right here. Once you see that, it will say press any key to continue and it will just close out of it and all your settings would be saved. All you have to do is just restart and they will be applied. This should help you with your games. It should get rid of your hitches, your stutters, give you more consistent frame times, lower delay. In the next video, if this reaches 50 likes, I'll drop a full network tuning guide. See you guys in the next one.